Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Christelle Martinet and I'm breaking my holiday science, uh, silence. Um, but I'm coming in with a mid-January, from January 15th through the end of January, where there, I'm reading now, it must be the 6th of January and I'll be uploading them to tell you how many celebrations that we will be uh, celebrating coming up. So. Um, there is a New Year celebration in a Julian calendar, uh, the celebration that has sort of like a Christmas, then a New Year's coming up. But January 15th itself has a numerous amount of, um, of celebrations that we can follow. For example, there is the National Hat Day on a very so <laughs> very low level but for those of us who wear hats and i'm a hat wearer i celebrate there's a humanitarian day on january 15th there's also the national sanctity of human life day which um every year i uh, come in and celebrate january is an especially particular month for me for those of us who like ice cream there's a strawberry ice cream day the seventh the 15th of january but also there is World Religion Day, um, which is always the third Sunday of uh, January, and World Snow Day. And here, I'm in the mountains now, and if you can see out that window, it's all white. We have about uh, coming up to a yard of snow, one, two, three feet. It's, uh, it's at a meter now. <laughs> it was just outside. It's freezing outside. I've been shoveling. So this is just to welcome you back and welcome myself back. Now let's get into the second half of January reading. Hello Capricorn. Capricorn, this is a second half of um, January reading for you. And I'll start with you because, well, happy birthday for those of you who are still having birthdays. And I'll start with laying, by laying the Vera Sibila cards and then clarify here he, here he, with the tarot cards. And see if there's anything else I need. Hang on, I know I'm going to need my runes. I forgot them. Here they are, here they are. Okay, let me concentrate now on Capricorn. For the second half of January. Well, Capricorn, I haven't even spread all of the cards, but Now, um, what I'm seeing here, first of all, is that um, the end of January is going to, well, the end, I'm saying the end, even though talk of it is going to be coming up, there will be talk about a, uh, an established bond, getting, wanting to make, wanting to get it to the next level. And I remember that there was a significant other that was coming in and going out, coming in and going out, and you just try to put them on the back burner. But that's not going to happen. They will indeed come in. Um, now, there is also an, a third party involved, um, and one of you, either you or the other party, there's a third party that in your mind exists. You believe that that person has another, or did have in the past, and you're thinking that um, that will be hanging over your heads, but it's not going to be spoken about when you come together. It's not going to be spoken about. Um, the feelings that you have with for each other will override that. There is a, um, let's say Capricorn, you are the person who, whether we like it or not, this other party, this significant other, is going to be significant. No matter how much or how little you have seen them in the past, they will continue to remain a very important person 
for you. Now, this person comes out as being very lonely, very sad, very um, wanting, desirous of coming together with you. Actually, they are the ones who are pressing to come together again. Now, of course, this is a general reading. Not all of you have and follow this storyline, but this is what the cards are telling me to uh, give you as a message. Now, there's also this notion about coming together with a, uh, um, a bond, this, um, uh, this taking it up to the next level, giving, tying the knot, giving them a ring, you know, taking a ring. It is something that you do not want at the current time time. It's something that you are pushing away because, but, but you know, our last card here is La Vecchia Signora, the old lady. All right. I'm not going to show you these, but significant cards are, um, I will show you the tarot when I lay those. The significant cards are the uh, focus cards in the middle, which is this viaggio, the things are going to be changing, the trip. And there is, they are coming to you, or you're going to them, but I'm seeing them more coming to you. Um, and they're coming to a place, however, the other party, initially, they will feel as if they've made a mistake. All right, they, they'll feel as if, oh my goodness, what did I do? I pressed too hard. You know, but very, very soon, that will be dispelled, Donna Di Servizio, the housemaid. And we have, like I said, the Vecchia Signora at the, outside, at the um, outgoing card. Underneath the two decks that I didn't choose is one, the gifts, Omaggio di Pietre Preziose, and the Imeneo, which is the nuptial dance card. All right, now, and these are fast-moving cards in this position. I'm going to take the tarot to uh, highlight a few of the cards. One is a military, which means something being kept under wraps right here at the top. And it's next to an enemy of some sort, an enemy to you, Capricorn. Sorry for all of these. These are pretty shuffled, but I like to get them on. Okay, now, uh, what is that, The uh, keeping it under wraps and about the enemy? We have here the Five of Swords, we have the Six of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. All right, now, first of all, there were two stories here. There are two parts to this. The other person involved, the third party involved, was in a relationship or in a friendship with your significant other for a reason. And it had to do with economic value. It had to do with the job. It had to do with them seeking uh, uh, some kind of uh, collaboration from them or they wanted to collaborate with them on a business basis. Definitely, there's a comeback with this Six of Cups. Definitely, there's a comeback. And definitely, there is remorse and regrets here for the way that played out in the past because there was a third party that hadn't been clarified in the past. I'm going to take here um, now the, um, the tarot again over this falsita, black cat, um, the lies, and to see what that is all about, because it's next to the deliranti, the delirious people. I'm seeing those together. Ah, oh, la, 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 da, 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 da. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups. And we have La Luna, the, the moon. What is this all about? This is about a lot of talk concerning what you both feel is your respective truths. And that, my Capricorn friends, is going to bring you a situation where ultimately you will both be very happy about putting all of your cards on the table. Good for you. This is very... And of course, then we have this Vecchia Signora at the out. This is positive changes come out of that. Let me take my runes and see what they have to add, chance, uh, Capricorn. Ah. Ah. Ah, ah, 
Okay, now, there are, um, the runes are very, they come down like an axe always, you know, they get cut through the fluff. What do they say? First of all, you are blinded by jealousy concerning this person from the other party's past. Admit it. However, I have here, and this is um, Pedro Merck Stave, okay? But I have here Awats, and Awats talks of being um, ridiculous in the sense of your jealousy is unfounded now, and that will in time be removed from you. A little bit of difficulty, uh, this is Aljit's Merkstave over the widower, and this a little bit of difficulty on the workplace, on both of your parties. I see that there will be, um, in Italian we say vacche magre, you know, um, thin, thin, thin calves, thin cows, you know, they haven't been e eating very much. And also, um, as soon as that person and you do meet, I have one, um, I have um, Manat's Merck's, uh, Merckstave, and Manat's Merckstave tells me that there will be rough boy, both of these cards, that is the issue, the economic uh, platform that you're having difficulty on standing on is the issue of much uh, dissatisfaction. But there are three, there's a conversation of three runes here, and one is Urus Merckstave, right over our letter, of our communication, Lagas Lagos Merkstave. And the last, lo and behold, Sowilo, the sun, success, sun, everything you can imagine. But what? how can we get there? What will be constant is both of you having to face with difficult situations, situations that go against the grain, situations that will uh, always be challenging you, uh, administrative situations, financial situations, um, financial difficulties, hardships. What do we do? How can you get a job? You know, how can we be together? How could it be possible? It is not going to be smooth uh, at all. But we have whoop, Costanza, Constance, and Sohilo is over her. Namaste, Cancer. <laughs> well, I keep, why do I keep saying Cancer? Namaste, Capricorn friends. Uh, this is the Capricorn season. Namaste. I he hear that you're up for, and I see that you're up for a roller coaster ride with a significant other. Take your vitamins. Battle, battle, man the battle stations and get ready. It is going to be a lovely ride. Until we read together again. Bye bye, Capricorn.